Hey, what's up guys, Frosty. The Snowman. Here in today, Iron Banner is out and we're checking out the new reissued weapons that we can grind for. One of them being the Forward Path Auto Rifle. So in this video, we're gonna be covering two versions of this auto rifle. One comes with Iron Grip and the other one that I got comes with Iron Graze. So I did grind a couple different rolls as you can see here and kind of with my experience knowing how the perks work, I'm definitely gonna prefer this Feeding Friends and Multi-Kill Clip for you know any purpose that I use this auto rifle. But you know, for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be checking out the new perks. So this one is not completely a god roll, but we're gonna check out what the Iron Grip does. It says massively increases weapon stability at the cost of reload speed. So increase weapon stability. Personally, if you ask me, this is not a perk I'm gonna care too much about when it comes to PC. Uh, mainly, I think it's gonna be good on console because I do hear a lot of people have to suffer with the recoil on auto rifles. But yeah, I mean, nothing too special in that regard. That's, that's really it. <laughs> the next perk is gonna be called Iron Gaze. Massively improves weapon target acquisition at the cost of range. So it's a new perk. You know, maybe there's something cool about it, something hyped about it, but losing weapon range. So this is an interesting one because usually I would think range is associated with target acquisition, bullet magnetism, and the cones, you know, all the cones, all that, making sure your shots register, you don't get many ghost bullets. But target acquisition here is kind of being separated, right? You're getting increased target acquisition. So I'm interested to see how that plays out. Um, just looking at it right now on paper, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be a trash perk I don't want to lose range on my weapons, especially an auto rifle But I mean, maybe we could treat it like an SMG But at that point you want to ask why not just use an SMG, right? Anyways, so let's just you know look at this thing in game. So pretty clean, you know, doesn't really take too much space you can sh Look at that muscle flash, bro Where's my sunglasses? <laughs> You literally can't see shit! Bro! Alright, we're gonna take it into Crucible. We're gonna try both rolls out and see what's up. Also, for those that wanted to see the stats on the auto rifles, I didn't really think it was too important, but it seems you got a little bit above average range and stability. The Iron Gaze, your range literally drops all the way down near to the impact, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, nothing too crazy going on. Iron Banner. Alright, here we go. The first auto rifle we're checking out it's gonna be the one with iron grip. So with this auto rifle, we have increased ability at the cost of reload speed. It's probably not gonna be that bad, uh, that bad, not too detrimental. I know you're watching my gameplay, you're already thinking to yourself, Ross, PC auto rifles don't even have any recoil already, bro. But I gotta say, this thing is indeed an auto rifle. And notice we have a fire team on the enemy team, so their coordination teamwork is probably going to be on point. In that case, we should probably start working towards B side. I'm also considering taking this thing to long range battles, considering how stable it is. Oh yeah, this thing's a laser beam. We have two players here. I have no backup. Probably going to take a nail. Giving them a departing gift with a little grenade there. They're getting tagged up. Could probably clean up a couple kills here. This guy has no idea what's going on. So I'm sitting on B right now. Teammates are playing around the power ammo. Me captured. Let's go ahead and push up a little bit. Look for a couple more gunfights. Oh yeah, this thing's literally a laser beam. And I know when, when you're watching gameplay, at least on PC, you've seen some of my auto rifle stuff in the past. You're thinking to yourself, I mean, all auto rifles that you've used or other people use, they come off as, as pure laser beams. But, you know, when I'm playing, I definitely see or notice a little bit of recoil. A lot of it comes down to my mouse control. And with this one, it's just effortlessly, you know, <laughs> being an aimbot, a laser beam. It's like I'm using a, one of those trace rifles. Oh, I'm dead. Pushed the wrong angle. Return to the fight. So it looks like these guys are trying to get C back. Probably gonna be working towards B. Spawning with my teammates to play this zone. Opponent claims zone C. 
I want to get a couple more gunfights before we switch over to the other water rifle. The different perk. But I mean, for now, there's really nothing too special. If I'm being honest, I would recommend this for controller players. That's where you're going to see some good success with this auto rifle and really appreciate the perk for what it is. But for me, mm, Okay, so that guy threw a grenade. I need to back off, regain my health. He's actually pushing that. He may get in my support right there. All right, so I saw what I wanted to see on this auto rifle. I'm gonna change to the one with the iron gaze. So this one says increased target acquisition at the cost of range. I'm interested to see how it feels in the game. All right, just gonna get shotgun right away. He's trying to help his teammates here get back on the board. We got more than double their score. And we also have two zones. The battlefield is yours. Finish it. We're gonna ignore the power ammo. So where are these guys spawning at? Not here. They're probably gonna be at A. They're gonna capture that zone. Actually, they're gonna get triple capped. Unfortunate for them. So less range, but oh, we mercy these guys. Unfortunate. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really feel it. I'm gonna keep messing with this auto rifle with the iron gaze perk. So low range, increased target acquisition. I'm gonna try to engage some long range battles. To feel the effect of not having all that range I would normally want. So let, let, let's just kind of test it out, right? I'm hitting some shots. I honestly, I could probably say at that range, I would get a lot of ghost bullets. Maybe I'm just being crazy. Maybe I'm just trying to find something useful and good about this auto rifle. But, but I'll be real. I'll be real. Sometimes these long range battles, if you don't have a lot of range, you do end up getting ghost bullets. Your shots don't really register. And I kind of want to say with Iron Gaze here, I'm not really getting that many ghost bullets. But what's the point if my shots register? What if I have to shoot them to like two magazines? There's a guy below me, I believe. Oh, huge grenade. Got another player in front. The range drop off can really cost you a gunfight, too, if you're not careful. Like, I got target acquisition, man, but I don't know if it's just my aim, right? Or if this perk is actually helping. And that's the tricky thing with perks like this, man. You can't really... Oh, mount top me. You can't really feel the perk working, right? You can't really see it. So, <laughs> it's difficult to really give your opinion on it. And you're sitting there like, hmm, am I just crazy or is this actually working? Is it doing something for me? But I mean... It's not too bad. I was honestly thinking the lack of range is, was going to be a lot worse than it is, or what I thought it was. But it's not too bad. Oh yeah, it's not too bad. Maybe I'm not playing slow enough players that are, you know, forcing me to get in long range battles. Because that's where probably I would suffer the most. Okay. I mean, look at those shots all registering beautifully. Again, I don't know if it's my aim. <laughs> or I don't, I don't know if there's actually the perk doing some, some work here. Damn, I got outgunned. All right, let's try out the other one for a little bit more. Iron grip. Increased ability. 
I think with this one, I probably would want a long range scope and then maybe have a long range auto rifle for once. Oh wow, Mountaintop made a good job. Zone B captured. So, claimed zone A. you could use this as like the first long range auto. Well, I wouldn't say the first, but definitely one of them. Put a huge scope on this thing, sit on the edge of the map or something, and just beam people with an auto rifle. Get as much range as possible, too. And with that max ability or whatever, you know, it's not going to kick. You're going to be good. Because your issue trying to hit shots at long range is definitely going to be the the recoil. Oh, that guy hit us. Good job. Careful, teammate. Hold on, do I have a long range scope? I kind of want to test that out. See what's up. So I do have one. Probably not the one with the biggest zoom, but I mean, it'll be something, right? Oh, damn, this guy's one shot. Getting rushed on the back here. Zone B lost. Players on B. Oh, nice shots. I was a little bit too distracted with the Titan first. So if you're playing the range, your biggest concern is going to be the damage drop off. You might miss, a, miss out on a couple kills if they're too far away. Five minutes left. Five minutes left. I mean, this thing doesn't kick. The range is going to hurt it, though, for sure. This guy's a little bit trapped there. He doesn't know what to do with the Dom Blade in him. Let's pop a barricade right here, protect that angle, and then we could just watch the right side. Someone's probably going to push me if I'm not careful. Let's have to be aware of the mountaintop user. Watching my left. We can actually get an angle on the C players here. Okay. I'm going to try to get a little bit further away. Oh, okay. All right. He's just going to hit that frisbee on me. All right. I didn't think this guy was going to come at me with the super. Did it just spawn me in the same area? No, bro. I don't want to die. Couple B players. I don't have an angle on this. Anybody going to be pushing C? Cut their momentum. Keep pushing. Someone might push this cave. Zone C captured. Zone advantage is yours. My team is going to pop a special blades. Okay, we're, we're going to try to wait here patiently. I want to just test out how it would be playing long range with a knot rifle like this. And as you can see, the range drop off is just going to, you know, pretty much get rid of your opportunities or chances of using this super long range. And with that being said, I really don't see anything special <laughs> in regards to using this ability, at least for me right now. Alright. I've used these weapons enough to pretty much get an opinion on both perks. So we're going to talk about it a little bit more. All right. So I played with both auto rifles using the different perks and I played with them enough to get an opinion on how the perks are. So let's start off with iron grip. As I was saying through the gameplay, it was basically like a laser beam. I personally don't see myself using this one on MNK at all as weapons tend to be a little bit more accurate as it is already. But I will say, I think controller players will find good use of this perk so they don't have to deal with a lot of recoil when they're playing on console or whatever. But other than that, I think it's a pretty disappointing perk. Now, I did try to use a long range scope to maybe use this auto rifle for longer distance battles and, you know, the range drop off. So I didn't find any success with that either. That's pretty much it on my thoughts on that one. Now for Iron Gaze, this one's a little bit of a tricky perk to talk about because 
it says you get massive weapon target acquisition, right? And you lose range. The problem here is that I can't see the effect of the increased weapon target acquisition. I can't see it. I can't feel it. While with the cost of range, I can. I can see the numbers dropping. I can see people not getting melted as quickly. And I don't like that at all. Now, if I am getting increased targeted weapon uh, acquisition, then at this point, I'm just thinking to myself, why would I use this auto rifle when I could just use an SMG? When SMGs probably have more range and they kind of get the job done, you know, when you're doing close range battles, which is the only reason I would use this thing uh, for. That's pretty much it. Two perks, pretty disappointing, nothing, you know, crazy to offer. I am going to be using different roles, like my Feeding Frenzy Kill Clip, if I'm doing things like PvE. And other than that, those are my thoughts on the auto rifle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.